folks. Welcome back uh, in the series of setting up uh, Microsoft Office 365. In this ser uh, section, we're going to be talking about enable the service principle authentication for Power BI read-only APIs. By creating access, application access to Power BI service content, the APIs by enabling the service principle authentication for Power BI read-only, the PA Power BI service content and APIs help optimize your Microsoft 365 subscriptions, such as downgrading subscriptions from Office 365 E5 to Office 365 E3. Important things to remember, you're going to need to have the admin for the Azure AD admin, uh, global admin, as well as the Power BI global admin in order to do this step. So let's go ahead and jump into the Power BI. Okay, so I'm logged into the Azure portal using my global administrator account. So what do I do next, Randy? Excellent. We're going to need to create a security group for your service principal authentication. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and navigate over to Azure Active Directory service. So Azure Active Directory. Okay. From there, you want to go to Manage Groups and then click All Groups. Groups. And I'm going to go All Groups. I'm in All Groups right now. Okay. Excellent. And you want to select new group. Okay. We're going to do security. We're going to go ahead and name this group. So we're right. going to put an email address in there. An email address? No, I don't think an email address. I think it's going to be a description. So don't need an email address here. So okay. And now what, now what do we do here? So roles can be assigned to the group. No. And then membership type. So there's three different types here. There's assigned where the members must be added or removed manually. There's dynamic user where members are added and removed automatically based on the dynamic group rules that are defined, that you define, or dynamic device. These are devices that are added or removed automatically based on the dynamic role uh, that you define for them. Yeah. I so think we're just going to go ahead and do assigned, right? Yeah, I think we'll do assigned because I think dynamic is going to be something that's individual for every organization, right? The Azure administrators are going to have ways within their own Azure instance on how they, if they're using anything dynamic or not. So for us, we're just going to use a sign so we can do everything manually. Okay. Excellent. From that, you just go ahead and select uh, create. Okay. All right. So next thing we need to do is we need to add the application to the security group. So okay. let's navigate. Let's navigate over to manage members. Oh, I think I got to find the security group again. So it brought me back to the all groups page. So I better take a look here for ITAM. Okay, so here's the group that I created. So when I hit create, it put me back to the main page. I had to go back in. So now you're saying I go to manage, uh, right? Manage, okay. yep. And then groups. Groups or group memberships, sorry. Group, uh, sorry, members. Members. Gotcha. Members, yep. Then add a member. Okay. And then we are going to uh, type in our group that we just created. Yeah, so we've got this ITAM Ranger 365 integration group, but we've got to make sure we don't pick this enterprise application, right? We want to. No, we want to pick the application, not the group, right? So this one. The application, yes. Yes, so we're adding the application to the group. So when we're, we're selecting this, we want to make sure it's this one here, enterprise application. Okay. And select. And probably, okay, it's added. We probably just need to refresh it here for it to show up. 
and there it is yeah there it is so now we're in the group and we have this as a member of the group okay and so now the application is added to your security group next thing we need to do is enable the security group to read only access to the power bi so okay. let's go ahead and jump to the power bi portal the power bi portal okay so i'm going to open up a new tab here and i'm going to go to the power bi link from the document And I'm going to log in with my, again, I'm not sure what permissions, my admin permissions, I guess it is in Power BI, right? Not the global admin. It's Power BI uh, administrator uh, credentials. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So once we get in there, we're gonna see the settings icon. It's that little uh, gearbox. You want to go ahead and click on that, and then you want to select Admin Portal. The Power BI Admin Portal should open up. Admin Portal, there it is there. Okay. Next, we want to do Tenant Settings. Tenant Settings. Oh, it's right here. Okay. I'm already in Tenant Settings. Yeah. Perfect. And we want to expand uh, the Allow Service Principles to Users to use read-only Power BI admin right. API setting. And that's in the admin API section, right? So I that have is to correct. find that section again. There's a lot of settings in here. Admin API settings. There okay, so there's the admin API settings and I'm looking for service principles can access read-only admin APIs. Okay. Okay. We're going to expand that and toggle the button to enable the settings. So okay. Well, like in this enabled. instance, yeah, we already, this is a test instance we're using. So we, we've done this a few times. So this setting's already enabled for us, but I think most people probably won't have this enabled. So you're going to want to make sure this is enabled. Excellent. And then we want to go down into that little box over there uh, and start to type in the security group that we just created. Okay. ITAM range. Yep. Okay, so that's the Once security group it. we added in the last step. Okay. Next, you just hit apply. Okay, now we got tenant. So it says the changes apply within the next 15 minutes. So these aren't instantaneous changes. So uh, you might want to not jump to doing your integration for a little bit until this replicates through. Excellent. The one thing to remember is after you enable this setting through the Power BI admin portal, any application permissions that you set from the Microsoft Azure portal are no longer effective. All application permissions must subsequently be set and managed through the Power BI admin portal. Mm, good to Something know. to remember. Yeah, definitely yep. good to remember. So, Okay, great. Excellent. And we're going to wrap this up, this video up. Next, we're going to come back with configuring updates on your Microsoft 365 Admin Center.